The build I have for is going to be for the guaranteed four. Bombard, Sticky Bomb, Big One, and Rocket Jump. Her alt is going to be a little bit different. Meaning, I don't know exactly what I'm going to stick with. Because there's two of them that I use that work well together. Or work... One works very well for... Um, depending upon the map. The other one is more of, I guess, people getting clustered or uh, team... I guess, pre-made teams. Bombard, though, I use extra shrapnel. Increased damage to nearby enemies by 4. Initial damage when it hit is 32. The outer ring, however, is 22. So that 4 additional damage is always going to be 26. So that 4 additional damage is better than just the basic 22 damage that she would do for her outer range of the Bombard ability. And, I mean... It's really the only one I like compared to anything else. For Sticky Bomb, I use Phosphorus Residue. Targets are revealed until the end of end of next decision phase. I use this so I can see where they're going to go. So basically, it's more like just a reveal type thing. Like how Lockwood has his light em up as reveal rounds. Or I can't exactly remember the name, but it has reveals. So when he uses it... He can see multiple targets go into like bushes or go invisible, so it's hard for them to get away. That's what I use for a sticky bomb. And I mean, the 30 indirect damage is still pretty decent to have. So having that one energy for the reveal is very nice. The big one, there are many good ones that people like, but this one is my favorite. Shock and awe. Enemies in the target area are slowed on their first turn. This is primarily for people to burn their dash and kata. Unless they're ballsy enough to sit there in the middle of the, out, the outer, the inner, or the very direct center of the big one. Direct center is 50. Outer of that is 35. After that's 20. People will most likely burn their catalyst and their dash to get out of it. Because if they try to walk out of it, most likely they're still trapped inside. And who wants to really take all that damage in the first or second turn? Plus, it's mostly to be used and reveal people where they are situationally on the map. That is why I use Shock and Awe. And yes, it is three energy, but I still use it regardless. Because Rocket Jump, I don't have a mod for. If I did use something else that's not three on the ultimate we'll talk about here pretty soon. That if it was two energy, I'd be using extra boom to get the additional five damage. But I don't. Ultimate. Here's the thing. The only two that I ever used for Zuki, I used to use Concentrated Fire, but that kind of stopped. Because it's kind of a waste, it seems like. I, the two that I use are Artillery Barrage, increases range by two, which her range is massive. It is massive. Holy shit, it's massive. For two, people think, oh, two range ain't that big. Wait till you see it, because that, that might be the thing I use. My favorite, though, is enhanced targeting. Targets enemies through walls, reduces damage by 10. The problem with this ultimate is, is that her normal ultimate is 45. The, the kicker with this one is that you lose 10 of that, but you can target people through walls, regardless of where they are. If they're behind multiple cover, well, they're screwed because they're still targeted. As long as you're in range of using Missile Storm, they are going to get hit unless they cat or dash. So enhanced targeting is great. If I mighted, which most likely I do, they take 44 damage. So, sure, it's not, it's not going to be a, a whole lot of damage to do. But you're still doing high amount of damage to that, or enough damage to lower them so that your teammates can kill them. Artillery Barrage, however, I can make better, though. you get the range too. And you still have the 45 indirect or direct damage. So if you use Might, it's 56. So, I mean, it's, it's an increase of damage and increase of range, but you can't target through walls. So the ultimate that she has is very... It's difficult to say because it's really hard for me to choose between the two of them. I like the increased range, 
but I loved it, the effect and the ability to target through walls even more because if they're running away from you and you hit them and they can't dash, that's a guaranteed kill. But for this oh, one, we're going to do... We're going to do enhanced targeting because I like it a lot more than range, though the range is huge. Like I said, it's it, two is pretty big for her ult because her ult in general is pretty big for a cone area. But like I said, because it's through walls, it's a lot easier to get a kill than one if they're like, if they're behind cover. Catalyst, same as far as, um, as far as what she'll do for the prep phase, critical shot is what I keep. Shift is obviously a must unless you're playing support or frontliner. That those are the only times I will ever use fetter or fade. And blast, I mean, we can probably use brain juice. Her dash is six cooldown. Her big one's four, and her sticky bomb's three. I mean, we can use it. But because she's a frontliner and you don't know what to expect in solo queue, second win would probably be the better off. Bring it. So we're going to do a game, see how it goes. I am going to attack bl their Blackburn because of the possibility Let's that Laura it. might have he No, she does not have heal. But just to guarantee a kill. Because if I attack their Zuki, she's not going to get a whole lot of damage done on her only 16 because of safe cover. I am the ether. The sting of entropy. Whoa. The war starts here. You're in hot water now. Gun them So we got a double kill. Kaigan and Blackburn. Fair dental work for them pearly white. So it worked out. For now. She's got Kata, but that's about it. I'm gonna actually go stick in the middle. Catalyst activate. Pain and gain. So Zuki is still partially there. She's not in my big one, but that doesn't mean I still can't hit her. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Well, I don't know what the hell the ping means, but whatever. Infrared Come here, active. Gary! Come here, Gary! Oh, she catted. Save this for wow, what? Sink or swim. Shock therapy. People, yeah, see, big one, big one will waste people of their dashes and their katas. I don't think she was in the kata range or the uh, big one's range, though. She might have positioned herself there so she could do her ultimate, but I mean, even then, that that seems kind of wasteful. Because then I'll just dash here. Targeting parameter set. More. No. No. Don't overdo it. Yep, she's gonna use her ult. Locked on. Which she won't touch me. Feel Don't believe your eyes. <laughs> Excuse me.
Yeah. Their Zuki does not have anything. No dash, no nothing, no kata. She wasted it early. I can't believe Using Catalyst. Sticky bomb me, that's fine, but you're gonna be dead this turn, Zuki, sorry. No more hide and seek. Boop. <laughs> Nowhere is safe. I'd run if I were you. Don't steal your tough ass. Turning the tide. So she's dead. Somebody's no worries gonna there. Pay for this. Somebody's gonna pay for this. He says to himself. Well, I mean, he could have gone here. We're gonna just take a shot at Aurora. Here's a gift for you and us. I only do 13 what? damage, but that's fine. Now Blackburn's gonna ult. Hmm. They only got a single kill. That's not bad. That's all right. So there's not much I could really do about Kagan. He's probably gonna jump on me. So wait, so using Sticky or not ain't gonna matter. Big guns coming through. Or he doesn't jump on me. And they're going after completely different targets. Okay. So we got another kill, so we're up 4 2. And I just got my. Never mind. Finn died. Four turns remaining. And I just got my dash up. So I'm not worried as to what to do. However. I'm gonna dash backward. Ooh. Okay, so he does grenade and then hand cannon. That's cool. Three turns remaining. So she has jump. The problem is, is where is she gonna jump to? I honestly thought I had her, but I don't. Damn. I do. Wow. That was un... Okay, well. You win. I guess... Dibs on the salvage. I guess so much for their Overcon. <laughs> and that's the mod build picks for uh, Zuki, apparently.